The following video contains situations, subjects, and language that may be uncomfortable for some viewers and are not suitable for children. This video is for documentary purposes and meant to educate parents and communities of the online dangers that children may face, as well as shed light on those who cause these dangers. Furthermore, the individuals remain innocent until proven guilty in a court of law, as we are not law enforcement. These individuals should not be harmed or harassed based on their actions shown and discussed in this video. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey guys, just when you thought you've seen and heard it all on this channel, this guy was probably one of the sickest. I am talking about Shane Hall, age 43, of Sheboygan, Wisconsin. He was chatting with our 13-year-old decoy. All decoy work done by my friends in Online Predator Exposure, OPE. Make sure you go and check them out, subscribe to their channel, and their link will be in the description below. This will be my second time working with the uh, people of OPE, and they're just so good at what they do. Like, major shout out to them. Um, you know, just going over these chats, it was really infuriating to me. So, you know, this takes a lot of work, and I really appreciate their help um, with the decoying. Grade A decoys, let me tell you. No joke, like literally grade A decoys. <laughs> Shane reached out to their 13 year old decoy and he asked, he said, hi, how old are you? When the decoy said that she was 13, Shane asked the decoy, would you come to my house if we were neighbors? He then quickly went into detail about all the sick things that he wanted to do with her. And this continued for a whole week of Shane just messaging really inappropriate things to her pretty much nonstop. He oftentimes also asked her to sneak out the house, asked if she had a back door, if she can sneak through the window to go to his house in the middle of the night. He also asked her to send CP multiple times. He would ask for inappropriate pictures. Um, I honestly, I, I'm not going to read the chat logs on YouTube. Um, maybe on a live, but not in a video. If you want to see the full chat logs, become a member. But, um, you know, usually there's some room uh, in these chats that aren't as graphic sometimes. Um, this chat log is just non-stop, vile, you know, just very inappropriate and I don't want to take any risks. I honestly really can't bear to stomach reading, reading all the chats again. Um, yeah. If I did read the chat logs on this video, um, it would have to be heavily edited by far, so so if you want to become a member on my Ko-Fi or YouTube members, you can read the full chat logs there. So, long story short, I mean, the short version of this, um, he named pretty much everything in the book that he wanted to do with this 13-year-old. So. He also suggested getting her 10-year-old friend involved, and also the 10-year-old's 6-year-old sister. It's just really heartbreaking and, and infuriating that these people uh, exist. So when it came to meeting, the plan was for the 13 year old to meet Shane at a park in Sheboygan, Wisconsin after school. It really sucks because that park was so beautiful um, and I believe it was like right on Lake Michigan. It was really pretty um, the, small, the small time that I was at that park. <laughs> But I couldn't enjoy the view, you know. I had to deal with a different view. Uh, this sick man that was luring a child to that park. On October 4th, 2022, I went to that park um, to meet Shane and I live decoyed. He thought I was the 13 year old girl. He even brought me a soda. Um, you'll see during the, the confrontation how he handled the situation. It did escalate pretty quickly. Spoiler alert, he gets arrested! Alright, here we go. I'm trying to play my game. Keeps lagging. What's that? That don't work. Oh, you walk.
What did I miss? Why don't I have a seat at this table right here? Um, we're investigate. We do investigative journalism. We do work parallel with the police, and we don't want to have to get them involved. We have all of your chats. So you best have a talk with us over here. Otherwise, we'll get the police here. Yeah. All right. We'll just follow you home. We have you talking inappropriately to a 13-year-old. You show interest in her 10-year-old friend, her 6-year-old sister. So you should probably have a conversation with us. Otherwise, we're going to have to turn this in and you'll most likely be arrested. What do you think is better? We don't have to make this a big thing. We just want a few minutes of your time. We're just filming for safety reasons so you can't hurt us, we can't hurt you. Yeah. We know where you live. You want us to call the police to come to your house? What do you think I do? You know, it'd be a good way to show remorse for what you did if you talk to us. Otherwise, just make it seem like you don't feel bad at all or you think what you did was wrong at all. Yeah, Shane Hall, you said to the... Hey! Hey, hey don't fucking touch my stuff! Don't. Ever. Oh, Call the cops on yourself. Have you chatting with a 13-year-old girl? We want to do stuff with her 10 year old friend. Her six year old sister. What's wrong with you? Do you have any word to say about what you did? Anything at all? Can you teach the 16 year old okay. how to touch my penis? Question. What? What's she doing on a dating site in the first place? You're an adult. Why are you talking inappropriately to a six year old, a 10 year old, and a 13 year old in the first place? Dating so dating it's the kid's right. fault. So it's the kid's fault. So it's the kids' fault. Yeah. These were children. Where does Steve started? Well, this is this is your chance to speak on your own behalf about what you did. Goodbye. Tell your side of the story. You obviously don't give a shit. You wanted to get away with it. Disgusting, man. You need help. Damn, we lost service. Here, hold this for a minute. Keep following him. talk to a 13 year old online and talk sexually to her about doing stuff with a 10 year old and a 6 year old but you also have no remorse for it. No remorse. And you act like we're doing something wrong here. You are because you're following me. And what did you do wrong? I told you And what goodbye. did you do wrong? And what goodbye. did you do wrong? I told you goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, leave me alone. Yeah well the 6 year old, the 13 year old and the 10 year old told you goodbye but you still kept talking to them. You're 43 <laughs> fucking years old. You're okay so it's their fault though. It's yep. their Do you see the problem? I see. Fine. I see where you're then show so can we, instead of being aggressive, can we just stop for can a minute? We talk. Can you show some remorse? Can I won't you... do it again if you leave me alone. Well, we need like five minutes of your time. You can't just say, no oh, I was in the wrong. I'm leaving. You're showing no, no remorse? Minutes. What's that? I just said what I said. I didn't hear you. Five minutes? No. No five minutes? I won't do it again. Leave me alone. And why won't you do it again? 
I was like, what you guys are fucking doing? So oh, so because you got caught. You won't do it again because we're following you with cameras? This is why you're not doing it again? What if some... A six-year-old. You have two daughters of you of your own. And what? you're the one that lied in the fucking first place. I wasn't talking to you. You were talking you to two minors. No. To me. No, I was not talking you to you. Were. You were talking to minors on the internet. So this we... is damn. Why do they have different posts on there? On that adult? I don't know. Why were you the adult that talked to these kids on the internet? Well, I can you didn't teach know about the six-year-old? Can you teach? You said, "Can I? Can you teach the six-year-old how to play with my dick?" You didn't know about the age when you said that. You no, didn't know about I the age when you said. Age on the dating site. You didn't know about the age when you said, "I've done this before, but I've never sucked a thirteen-year-old's pussy or a ten-year-old's pussy." I am sorry. You didn't know the age I when said. you said that. I'm sorry for what I said. Hi. Right. And you're only sorry because we have the cameras on you, or what? No. That ain't me. It's not you. I never done it before. Imagine some 43-year-old guy talking to your kids when they were that age. I understand. How would you feel? What would you want to do? This is the first time I did this. Yeah, that's what they all say. It seemed pretty look goddamn easy. Record. We did. This we did look at your time. record. This is the first time you were caught for this. If this was the first time you did this, why was it so easy for you to talk sexual about a six-year-old on the internet? A six-year-old. You have daughters of your own. You said, I'm looking for new daughters. What the fuck does that even mean? My kids are grown, they're out of the house, and... and it's not a very good excuse. And you know it's not. And for you to come at us like that? I didn't know who you had hurt. We're not here to hurt we you. We told you who we were. We told we you we're not here to you. hurt you what our role was, what we are doing when we work with the police. And you decided to take off. You decided to touch my equipment. You hit me. I told you. Don't try that stupid shit again, because I will not stop I gave you the option to talk to us. Do you have, do you have problems? Do you have fantasies? No. I mean, then what's going on here, man? What's going on here? If we this have this, this isn't time. even all of it. How long have you been talking? No, I'm not really. Listen, we're not going to hurt you. We don't want to hurt you. We don't want to get physical. Well, like I said, this is your first time. This is your first time? Yes. You know what killed my heart? Like, what absolutely killed my heart was you saying, I won't do this again. When I asked why, you said, because you guys are filming me, because you guys are doing this. That killed me. Like, that is why you won't do this again? Do you know what talking to kids like this can do to them in the long term? Do you know how it can make them grow up with many psychological conditions also you could get off? What it can lead to? Depression, suicide, boatload of other things just so you could get off, just so you can get your fantasy? That's disgusting. I'll tell you, I'll tell you I've been in that boat and we'll sit down and talk. Yeah, let's sit down and talk. Who's, what is this place? I don't know, it's in there. Is this private property or? No, when I said I'd been in this boat, I guess. So when did all this start? When did all this start in your head? Not here, when did it start up here? So you're on the, the 13 year old, that's when it started? Not when I said I've been in the same boat. Five years old. I was molested by my At five years old, you were molested? Okay. That's terrible. Yeah. That's, is that something you carried with you your whole life? Yes. And that sucks that anybody should have to go through that, but to carry that on? and try to put that on somebody else, another child in your future, that's the issue here. It's called a vicious cycle. You have to end that cycle. You have to grow from it. Can you see if Tech ordered the fried pickles? Yeah. Thank you. Mediums? We can send you. We can send you help. Because, I mean, all of those chat logs, and that's not even all of it. 
I, I read over all of those last night and this morning. I was pissed. I was sick. I was physically sick. I mean, these are some of the worst chats I've ever read. And I've been doing this for like a year and four months. There are meetings. I mean, it doesn't necessarily always mean jail time. Do you want this or this? If you can order it. The food? Me? Yeah. But, um, like I said, since it's just you and I, don't try anything, because I will drop everything. But, you know, so so it all started when you first started talking to this 13-year-old. You never had... Meet for me at Davis. Yeah, meet me or whatever. And usually, of course, they kick off people when they're 18. Yeah, they are. That site isn't for kids. I agree with you there, but kids do go on that site, you know, and, you know, it's like, where are the parents? Why aren't they monitoring the phones? But on the other, you know... I don't think it's a good idea. We will later. Okay. Right now. On the other hand, you know, um, why, you know, adults should know better. You're the adult on the other side. You shouldn't be talking to these kids like that, you know. Especially, you know, you were just so desperate sounding. You, you asked her, you know, can you sneak out the back door? Do you have a back door? Sneak out the window. I don't know you, so that sounds like a kidnapping to me. Because I don't know you. I don't know what your intentions are. Do you get where I'm coming from? I am just a concerned citizen. That's all I am. And you're here to meet with a 13 year old, to, to talk sexual to her, her, you know, her, her 10 year old friend, her six year old sister. It's like, what age do you draw the line? I know you were molested when you were five, but we gotta break that cycle. You didn't like it, we gotta break the cycle. So at what age do you draw the line where it's too young? Five or six? Yeah, 25, 26. 25, 26? Then what, why was this six year old so special? Or this 13 year old? year-old and also wanted to do sexual things to the six-year-old uh, friend and the ten-year-old sister as well. Okay. So. Uh, do you want to talk with me and then do you two mind talking with my partner here? Mm -hmm. Sure. Hello. How are you guys? Good. How are All you? Right. All right. Um, do you mind just coming down? Yeah. A little bit further. Is that cool? Go down by car right here. So I think I have an understanding of what's going on, but kind of kind of tell me. Um, so typically, what we do in these situations, unless we have some sort of like super extenuating circumstances, um, and I see you have a, a chat log there, which is something that all that we're going to want to take a, a look through, right? Yeah. This isn't all of them. Okay, no, I can get through um, all of it. Obviously, this is a lot we have to sort through, right? Because we have this like right. this original complaint or reason, right, with somebody. Uh, allegedly meeting a minor, right? And then we yeah. have this confrontation or disturbance that was caused as a result of it. Yeah. So there's a lot of things that we have, we have to sort through.
Yeah, it's probably for the best. <laughs> After Shane's arrest, we had the pleasure to talk with one of the Sheboygan police detectives. As of right now, I do know that Shane is being charged with use of electronic device to entice slash lure a minor. I also know that his phone had been confiscated. Um, they have it in evidence, they're just waiting on a subpoena or a warrant so that they can search it. My gut tells me that they're going to find more things on there that they are able to charge him with. I'll keep you all updated on his charges and this case specifically on my social media, so be sure to follow my Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and obviously subscribe to my YouTube. Links in the description. I commend the Sheboygan Police Department for taking this so seriously, and it sucks that I even have to say those words, for taking this so seriously. Um, I feel like every county and every police department should take this serious and some don't, unfortunately. But um, yeah, Sheboygan definitely did not disappoint, and next time I have a confrontation in that area, I will definitely be contacting them before the confrontation. One thing that I cannot show in this video was me defending myself after Shane had hit me and also knocked one of my devices out of my hands. If you want to see the part where I defend myself, become a member on my YouTube or my Ko-Fi. Um, I cannot post, post anything like that on YouTube. So yeah, be sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, let's get this video out there, especially if you're in the Sheboygan, uh, Wisconsin area or surrounding cities. Again, massive shout out to Online Predator Exposure OPE. Um, they do outstanding work and I honestly, I just look forward to working with them again and again and again. Be sure to go and check them out, link in the description below. Thank you so much for being here and watching and as always, please be safe. Bye guys.